Uh, broikos is the, the Dutch word for greenhouse. I chose that word because I was frustrated with my inability to learn the Dutch language and I thought, well, if, I, if I'm not going to learn to speak it, uh, I may be able to incorporate it into my work visually. I tend to uh, respond to things that are going on in my own life or, or situations that I find myself in. And um, so, you know, several years ago when I became a father, that led to uh, a, a large project, an exhibition about my father who was a, a U.S. Marine and was killed in the war in Vietnam. The move to the Netherlands led to the discovery of um, this abandoned greenhouse and, and this body of work. Well, the inspiration for this work uh, really grew out of um, uh, some frustration that I had in terms of the uh, moving to uh, the Netherlands. Uh, I was unable to work for, for several months, and, um, and it, it was only uh, when I discovered this, this greenhouse that I began to relate to it, uh, because I had, I had grown up here in the Midwest and worked in barns and farms uh, growing up, and so I think I related to it on that level, and uh, it's, it's a combination of, of photography and, and uh, digital printing. Uh, and then uh, primarily um, encaustic work, so a, a blend of, of beeswax and Damar resin um, along with uh, some painting and drawing on, on top of it. The more I studied it, the more I worked with it, uh, I realized that it was a reflection of the way that, that I had been feeling at the time. I mean, there was this once vibrant and productive greenhouse that now had been sort of passed by and, and overlooked, and, and so uh, that really drew me in. I've always been attracted to abandoned or uh, unwanted places because I really feel like they have stories to tell. If, if you look beneath the lower the layers of, of uh, peeling paint and broken glass, I sort of bounce around between these three disciplines that I'm I'm trained in: design and ceramics and, and photography. And and over the last several years, uh, they've all started to come together in various ways, uh, turning out as as mixed media pieces. I chose to, to build uh, a body of mixed media work because, uh, first of all, I don't really consider myself uh, a pure photographer. I mean, I, I don't believe that every image is, is set out to just be uh, matted in a nice white mat in a, in a, in a simple frame. Um, and I felt like there was an opportunity for me to tell more of a story, uh, put more emotion into the work, and uh, build a narrative uh, around, around this body of work by combining the different disciplines, the elements of typography and, and graphic line work along with the photography. I think we often uh, look at, at things but don't really see them. And, and uh, if you take time and, and really look at something more in, intently, um, you know, there's oftentimes something beautiful or something uh, there it has to offer. And it's important to acknowledge uh, the past and our history uh, before it's bulldozed and, and, and taken away because once it's gone, it's gone. This piece, um, I think you really get a sense of, of the place and a little bit about the nature of Holland. It's, uh, uh, the, the, there's, there's so much water, but also it's very foggy and I, and I, I chose to shoot on, on foggy, overcast, gray days because I liked uh, the, the, the feel, the, uh, the, the attitude that, that, that it brought to the piece. Um, I've also incorporated a map of the area, uh, again, to give a sense of space to add a narrative element. This piece is entitled Lost, uh, which is the, the translation for the Dutch word uh, verloren. And with this piece, what I, what I really wanted to do was uh, give a, a sense of uh, the, the entire uh, site. So it's uh, uh, combined or, or uh, composed uh, panoramic uh, image of the, of the greenhouse. That also sort of brings in a little bit of my background uh, with, uh, with graphic design and photography and, and all that. So there are elements of design and, and drawing uh, in this piece. The, uh, the elliptical shapes here are uh, abstracted uh, landforms. My approach is really to let uh, the solution come from the problem, and, and by that I mean uh, I try not to impose any preconceived ideas or, or form to the subject, but really to let uh, the, the subject, or the site in this case, uh, suggest um, the way that it should be depicted and the way it should be uh, put together. And so all of the materials um, uh, in this body of work the color palette, uh, the imagery, all comes from the site. Uh, in this case, uh, even the, the scale of the piece. Uh, these are, are uh, pieces of, of wood that made up the walls. 
of the greenhouse, and uh, the the width of them is the same as uh, as what the actual greenhouse was, and and um, you know as well as the the, the fabric material, the glass, um, all of those things uh, come from the site, and so um, that's that's just the way I work in terms of trying to be honest and and, uh, and true to the subject. Thank you.